African ex con the gangsters. I knew some of the businessmen. I knew some of the local rock. Like, I just was cool with everybody. Like, shout out to my young niggas, though. I know I shout with the young niggas out all the time because it's just like, I've never, like, all my young niggas still love me. Like, even during coronavirus, there's like this, like, low key, like, popping rapper here in the city. And I met him at Afropunk like two years ago. I want to say I met him at Afropunk like two years ago. And. Uh, he's actually a really cutie pie. He's low-key like uh, Shout out to my young niggas Like he's fine Like he's a Capricorn like me He's fine He's actually been like Featured on a few billboards in the city Like and He still fucks with me like he hit me up over Corona uh, While we were on lockdown like Hey Jazz you good like I haven't seen you like In a minute Um just shout out to you like yeah like fuck them old niggas y'all i own god fuck up niggas on god fuck them fuck them i can't i can't do it and i was literally telling one of my friends i was like um i was like um oh okay so i was talking about how old men like um try to swindle me out of my pussy and how like like it's like you want me to pretend that you can that you're smarter than me or that you're gonna outsmart me but I can't pretend that you're gonna outsmart me because I'm me and I'm just not in the place where I'm gonna be fake and allow you to believe that I'm going to fuck you or that I want to fuck you when I never will and I don't. It's just hard. I just can't. Like, I'm not, like, do you know how stupid, low self-esteem and dumb I would have to fucking be to fuck an ugly old man for free? Like, all the dick I get offered every day. So it's just like, I just can't, because I was thinking how, like, so I drive a foreign car and it's electric. And well, it's like, it's mostly, so it's like a BMW i3, but it's like the range extender. So it has like a gas component. And my sugar daddy used to have connections, but then there was one, like there was, there was the owner of the place that he used to have connections that who was always trying to fuck me or whatever but he was like hell no that's my that's my bitch you know how niggas be possessive and shit but they want to do their own thing but they don't want you to be accessible to anybody else so but he had like some stuff had gone down it's a long story i'm trying to figure out how real i want to be but because i be trying not to be too real like i be trying to wait to like put the real real tea in a book but Ugh. okay so what i'm saying is so i remember like i just can't more of the stories i just can't do it like i i, I was thinking how it's time for my car to get serviced because when it's time for them to get serviced it'll just pop up like what a date like around this time you need to take it in to get checked and so um i was like damn i should have got the contact information from the one from this guy that used to work there who was just a good guy like he he never tried to hit on me never tried to fuck me but he was just a nice guy but he could have done my car for me because i don't trust people here 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 and so i know if i take it to bmw they're gonna wax me they're gonna act like it needs more than what it needs because this is atlanta and in atlanta people are shysty people are grimy and people are always trying to get over on you. So I was like, damn, I should have got his information because he could work on my car and I could just pay him. And I was just thinking like, but then I was like, but I was like, well, should I go up there? And I was like, damn, no, because you already kind of cut ties. Like you cut ties with your sugar daddy, but then you cut ties with the man who just, who kind of like was a partial owner or whatever, whatever the fuck. Um, and so I was like, I don't want to just pull up. But I mean, Sometimes you just have to pull that car. I'm not like I got my other niggas to look into it for me. Um, but <laughs> anyway, um, I 
I was just explaining to him because I was I was explaining the situation. I was like, damn, like when I exit a situation, I try to leave with the most, but I have to go. And so when I left my sugar daddy, I was just trying to, I was trying to get everything I needed before I needed to leave. And so part of that was these tires. I was waiting for him to get the tires. I, find, I finally did get the tires, but I hated that it took him that long. He was just a disrespectful ass motherfucker and that's why I had to go. But I wanted, but I wouldn't leave until I had certain tools because I knew I was going to need these fucking tires. I didn't want to have to come out of pocket with them because I was already trying to pocket money just in case he wanted to play around with my rent. Because he seemed to like to do that. People try to play power cards with you. You don't play power cards with me. And that's why I just had to walk away. Because I was explaining to my friend that I had to cut. Like, yes, I should have gotten the number or the card of the guy who used to, you know, just be nice to me. And he knew how to work on my car. Because I cut ties with everyone. And the reason why I cut ties with um, the other guy who was trying to talk to me like he tried to hit me up even after I had left my sugar daddy because I left my sugar daddy and then like two months later he was still trying to like hit me up but he had said that he had something for me and he never came through with it and for me past behavior is a good indication of future behavior and with men I don't believe in second chances unless you're willing to accept the behavior that was it was exist existed before because I find that even if I let somebody come back the very reason when I cut them off a second time, the reason why I cut them off a second time is for the thing that they did the first time. People don't change. That's one thing I really learned. People don't change. I do, but people don't change. I do, but people don't change. And so once you get that, you can just get that through your fucking head. And I, so I remember he tried to hit me up two months after I left my sugar daddy. And honestly, I was in a very vulnerable position. I still was getting on my feet. I still um was financially like lean i didn't really have everything that i needed i was like month to month still trying to figure out oh am i am i gonna be okay this month like i was everything was still fresh because things didn't go as planned and when it was time for me to go and by the time how do i put this by the time that i was done playing the game like i was just done um I hadn't gathered everything that I needed because some other stuff had fallen through. We're not going to go to all that. More of the story is, he called me two months after I had already left my sugar daddy who was his associate or whatever. And I really could have tried to, you know, finesse, beg, cry. But in that moment, I just decided that it was all, it was all in or it was nothing. Either I was really going to be done with that or or I was going to continue to play it. And that month, I just, um, I was really in a vulnerable position financially, but I was internally and spiritually strong. You know what I'm saying? I, I knew who I was. I knew what I was worth and I was willing to grind to get it. I realized that no one was going to give it to me. And I realized that I was worthy of it, but people were just blind. And so I, I see a lot of people, you know, you can't expect people to know who you are and see who you are when they're brainwashed and they they are blind in their own ways. And so I realized like, yes, you absolutely deserve to be taken care of. Yes, you absolutely deserve X, Y, and Z because I was looking at the quality and the value of women that I was. Once I decided that, and once I made peace with no one giving it to me, I made peace with, you know, this nigga ain't gonna give it to you. No nigga's gonna come and rescue you, blah, yeah, yeah, dot, dot. No one's coming, it's just you. I was all in with myself, you know? And so being all in with myself, I can't, um, I can't continue to do things that I told myself that I wasn't gonna do anymore. And so I remember he called me and he like messaged me and um, I never responded and I don't regret it. I'm in a position where I can't afford to pay, you know, BMW prices. I just don't want to go into the BM. I know how Atlanta is and I have worked in that industry and around car sales and all of that. And I see the type of men that are in that industry. The shystiness is on 5,000. And so um, 
I do regret not getting that contact because I, I pride myself on being thorough, but I was just tired, y'all. And, you know, there's a song by um, Carrie Hilson, and she just fell off, but she had a song called Every Woman Has a Breaking Point. She would say, uh, some women can be lied to, beat it on, and cheated on, but every woman has a breaking point. I think it's something like that. And every woman has a breaking point. Is And, and by the time I made it to that chapter I was all in with myself and I was just like, I'm not going back. You know, you told me you were going to do X, Y, and Z months ago and you didn't do it. Past behavior is a great indication of future behavior. And I'm not willing to go through this with you. I am not, and I'm not even her. You know what I'm saying? Like that, the, the months ago, I was still waiting for someone to save me. I was still hoping that someone would see my value. But now I'm, I don't give a fuck about being saved. I'm going to save myself. And if that means that I struggle for a minute, if that means that I have to grind for a minute, and that's what I did. I grinded, I struggled, I grinded, I struggled, I grinded, I struggled, I grinded, I struggled, I grinded, I struggled. And if I had to decide all over again between answering that call and begging a nigga and waiting for him to respond and then him trying to press down on me, I would still grind and struggle on God. I would still grind and struggle because just, just where I was where I was internally and vibrationally, I was over it. I was over it. And at that point, even though I knew I wasn't perfect, but I was digging myself out and I was rescuing myself. And it was, it, it, I was still not sure, but I was more sure of myself than the months before when I was still, you know, waiting for him to come through and and so what I will say, I, what I will say is that no one owes you shit except for you. I don't expect anything from anybody besides myself. My expectations, if you want to never, ever, 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 ever be disappointed then keep very, very, very low expectations from other people. But, but hold yourself to the highest standard for yourself. Not for other people, not for your job, not from your family. Hold yourself to your highest expectations for you. So I have gotten to the point where I don't expect much from people. But I expect everything from myself. So I'm never disappointed and I don't disappoint myself because to me, disappointing myself is disrespectful. It's the highest level of disrespect. To me, we live in a world where everyone is going to promise and lie to you. Promise and lie, promise and lie, promise and lie, promise and lie. And for me, I can't have standards for other people that I don't have for myself. So if I'm going to promise and lie to myself, I'm just as disrespectful as the other people who do it. So for me, I expect people to promise and lie. But when I talk to myself, when I make agreements with myself, when I set goals for myself, when I set agendas for myself, I can't promise in line. That's disrespectful. And the only disrespect that matters to me is for myself because again, I expect other people to disrespect me if I allow it. So I'm already expecting you to come with the bullshit. But when it comes to me, I'm only giving myself my best. I'm only giving myself my best. I'm always giving myself my best. I'm always keeping my promises. I'm always telling the truth to myself. But other people, I have no expectations from them. <laughs> I, 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 fuck them. Including family. I have no expectations from anybody besides myself. But that's what happens when you save yourself and you stop waiting for people to save you. Nobody was coming. And so by the time, getting back to the story, by the time he was trying to come up and, hey, how are you? Blah, 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 blah. I was already done. I was like, girl, you know, 
yeah your budget's a little tight right now yeah you ain't got it like that right now but you said you were moving forward are you moving forward or not he's already shown his hand to you he tried to play you he tried to finesse you he tried to swindle you he tried to swindle you out of your pussy like all old ugly motherfuckers so do you expect him to not try again men already think that they're more intelligent which is actually the most stupid thing <laughs> like do you know how much you play yourself by assuming women are dumber than you do you know how much you play yourself how much money you will fucking lose messing around thinking that bitches are dumb <laughs> some bitches are dumb not me i'm like y'all motherfuckers really think y'all don't know who i am like i see like because i would think like my sugar daddy was a gangster was an og and it's like cool you know streets i know everything i i know streets now because i know you but before you i knew politics i knew white people i knew wealth i knew money like i went to the best of schools like i went but then i also had a mom that worked at the urban league like but then i also was went to a black church so i saw all worlds and in order to survive in those worlds you can't really be dumb so it's just like you thought i was dumb i remember my sugar daddy called me cussing me out because he saw my resume and he asked me to send his resume because he had someone he's gonna send it to and i guess he looked at it and he was like you play dumb but you're not dumb no nigga you assumed that i was dumb because you have a fucking gigantic ego and a big ass belly I said what I said. I said what I said. You disrespectful ass motherfucker. Try to make me insecure about my weight with your fat, ugly belly. Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious? So I never, in the beginning, I was not, I was not feeling that shit. I was not feeling that shit. But over time, I was just like, you know what? Let me see if this shit works. Let me play dumb. But because you didn't pay attention to the beginning. Yeah, eventually I learned to stroke your ego and smile and lie and talk like this and dress really cute and da -de da la 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 and act dumb, blah, 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 blah. But in the beginning, I was bucking. I was like, I don't want to wear makeup every day. What? Like, I was bucking. I don't want to fucking check. Like, in the beginning, I was bucking. But over time, I was like, you know what? Play this game. Get this money, bitch. So I changed so I could get the money. Not because I liked you. Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious? I know you think you look good because you buy these expensive suits and you wear these expensive clothes and you tell yourself that your big belly doesn't matter and you tell yourself that you still got it, but stop being delusional. This is the delusion, the fucking delusion. Like men really be thinking they're smarter than me and it's like, dude, you can't think, you can't even think because your head's in your dick. How are you smarter than me when you can't think because your head's in your dick? And then for most of y'all, you can't think because your head's in your dick, but your dick doesn't work. Wow, that's true misery. You can't think because your head is in your dick and your dick doesn't fucking work. Whoa. I just don't fucking get it. Anyway, so yeah, like maybe really, th and it's just like, I'm just not going to sit here. Like by the time he called, I was just like, I'm not going to sit here and act like you're smarter than me. Because you're not, you're not going to swindle me out of my pussy. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That, ha that happened like mm, 12 months ago. I stopped taking losses. Stop getting swindled. Stop getting swindled about 12 months ago. Should have caught me then. But you're a little late to the party. <laughs> you're a little late. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. They, I'm so sorry you missed me in that fucking chapter. That bitch died. Let me tell, let me, you wanna know what happened? The last man to swindle her out of her pussy killed her. I don't take losses. 
if you win that that version i don't take i don't tolerate losses if you win that version of me can't exist anymore do you get it it only gets better you have all of your lovely brothers to thank for that I don't take losses. If you win, I kill the bitch that lost to you. Do you get it? If you win, I kill her. Cause she's not sufficient. She 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 got us taking losses? She's gotta go. If we're taking losses, she's got to go. So the last man to swindle me killed the version of me that would get swindled out of her pussy. So cheers to fucking growth and change. A lot of motherfuckers can't do it. I see people, they cannot fucking change. And it is sad. They are stuck, y'all. It's some people stuck. Stuck. And I just, I really feel sorry for them. Because if you can't change. Damn. Fuck. But um, we don't do no losses. Mm -mm. If you won, you won with her. The one that I killed because she allowed you to win. Do you get it? So if you ever, it's no, it's, it's, it's a win-win. <laughs> it's a win-win, even if you win. Hold on. It's a win-win for me. Even if you win, guess what? Because if you win, then I get to go to another version of myself because the version of myself that lost, I can't allow it to live. <laughs> I can't allow this bitch to live. She's taking losses. She's taking losses. We gotta kill her. If she's taking losses, she's gotta go. We don't take losses. We don't take, I don't take, what? She lost. It's time for that bitch to go. So sorry. You got us to this level. You got us to this level. It's a little bitch, but you gotta go. So it's a win-win, even if you win, like, I am I can change. So you play me today, you create a monster tomorrow. It's a win-win. Either I win today and I get to stay who I am or you win and I get to kill the bitch that lost to you and became an, and become another person, become another version of myself. And that's a win either way. Either I win or I become a better version of myself. And it's always been that way. Like I remember I was really, 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 really believed in high school. Like really? And... We were in this physics class and I was struggling with physics so much, but I was, I would go and stay after hours because I wanted to get a really good GPA because we were going to be applying for college. And so I, um, I was so terrible and all of the men in the class were assholes. All of y'all, fuck all of y'all niggas. That's, that's what happens. That's what happens when you go against me. That's what happens when you go against me. So no one wanted to be my partner. And we had this rocket bottle thing where you had to, you know, um, see whose bottle <laughs> would go the highest. And whoever won, they got like extra credit. I think they got some special prize or whatever. So, um, so this is, this is the final, this is like the last project. This is the end of the semester, end of the year project. And um, <laughs> so I go first because why not? And mine goes really, really, really high. But you know, it's the first one. So we don't know how everyone else is gonna perform because it's the first one. So we go, it's group after group. No, but I'm the only one that worked by themselves. I'm the only one that worked by themselves. And um, the group, it goes group after group after group after group. And nobody's fucking water bottle rocket went as high as mine. Nobody, hold on, nobody would 
to work with me. This is me, y'all. This is this is really me. This is really who I am. Like I'm the type of person that like everybody count out, everybody sleep on, everybody oh, don't oh we don't fuck with her, we don't fuck with her. Pop up, pop up on your ass and win. <laughs> Where did this bitch come from? Where did this bitch come from? We don't know. We don't fucking know. So I remember uh, I fucking won. The motherfuckers, they already hated my ass. Oh, they already hated my ass, but they hated my ass even more because they did not want to fucking work with me. They thought they were gonna beat me. They, 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 they counted me out. No, I mean, when I tell you nobody wanted to fucking work with me, nobody wanted to fucking work with me and i beat all of them and they were they was working together it was like groups of three and four all three and four y'all motherfuckers brain couldn't outthink one bitch that y'all all hate y'all had three to four other brains and y'all couldn't figure this shit out but nobody wanted to work with me okay okay so Anyway, I talked to my other guy about it, and he said he knows someone who works on BMWs, and he'll get back to me, and blah, 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 blah. Um, but, yeah, I can't do it. I thought about pulling up and seeing if the one guy still worked in the garage and seeing, you know. But I was like, I don't even want to deal with the motherfuckers. I'm, when I'm gone, I'm gone. And I'm gone, y'all. I'm out the game. I'm not begging, I'm not crying, I'm not creating no delusional ass motherfuckers who think I really want to fuck them. It's just, it's mind blowing to me. I just, I will, for the life of me, I will never ever get it. I will never ever 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 get the delusion. But that's a part of me insane. You know what I'm saying? Like, people think I'm crazy, but that's because they're delusional. <laughs> like, people think I'm crazy, but that's because they're brainwashed and delusional. Like, I be on here spitting straight facts, like, but people be so caught up in their emotions, etc., pre-existing beliefs, brainwash, programming mentality, etc., that they can't even allow their brains to expand, and that's okay, because everybody can't go, everybody can't be this, everybody can't be me, you know what I'm saying? Everybody can't change, like, I just, I, everybody can't do it, like, and that that is what it is, like. Honestly, like, I think that one of the best things that you can ever do is if you really want to be great in life, like, accept leaving people behind. Because for me, on a spiritual level and, I mean, on an intellectual level, on a spiritual level, on a lot of levels, it's like, I know certain people are not ever going to go. Like, they're, um, they're never going to go. Like, and you have to be comfortable leaving people. Like, I'm, you're never going to, you're never going to, you're not ready to go. Right now, like, the your who you are as you know a being is not ready to go where i'm ready to go and so i'm gonna have to be comfortable leaving you behind and there's so many people that's like you know i love y'all for now and it's cool but i'm gonna continue to ascend and i'm outgrowing a lot of things and i'm okay with outgrowing you because if you really loved yourself you would be changing at a fast rate too you would be you would be on your shit too you would be you know what i'm saying discovering what's really going on you know uh studying occult knowledge like you know just studying spirituality like really you would if you really valued yourself you know you would be on your shit too and you would be right here with me but because you're stuck and you're in your cycle you know and that's why another thing i really don't feel like threatened like i know like someone tried to come on my um page and leave some like you know um religious comments etc and it's just like i really don't like just don't come for me like because anytime you're putting your power in an external in an external deity or an external being that means your power is not with you like you have to it's like to me if you try to say that you're gonna come for me but you're giving your power to an external deity that's like you telling me that you got this gun but it's locked at your friend's house and you got to call your friend for me all of my power is with me i don't have to call anybody to come bring me power my power is right here i'm not gonna wait for anybody to bring me power 
I'm not going to call anybody to bring me power. My power is right here. So I just wouldn't suggest like, you know, everybody has their thing and their beliefs, but I would stay in your lane because um, I'm powerful. I'm not waiting for someone to give me power. I'm not calling up power. I'm not begging for power. I am power so just stay in your lane do your thing but don't come from me I, I, I wouldn't suggest it